Duff Nerds! Welcome back to my channel, guys! I am so excited for today's video. As you guys know, you know the drill. <laughs> um, we'll be doing my TBR prompt jar chooses... Wow, no, we're not. My TBR prompt jar chooses my TBR. Oh my gosh, I don't know English. Anyway, <laughs> um, if you guys do not know, Rachel Catherine did start this here on YouTube. Um, so you throw a bunch of random prompts in a jar. And then that helps you choose your um, TBR for that month. For So this will be for February. I am so excited. First, if you guys like TBR jars. If you guys like TBR videos, if you guys like all the nerdy things, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's just get started. I didn't explain that very well. But basically, you just throw in. It could be like tropes. It could be like, you know, buy a book. It could be anything, you know. Um, and it could be a color of a book. And... It just helps you helps you get creative with your choices for the month. And so, um, especially if you have a big TBR. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> um, then it helps you for sure, like, just choose better books. So, um, basically it's self-explanatory, but it's explanatory. If you have any questions, let me know. I will be choosing eight prompts this month. Um, we do have my TBR cart, and then we also do have my TBR shelf. So we have quite a few options. I just posted a TBR cart reorganization video, so if you have not seen that, definitely check it out. And then you get a little bit more juicy information of all the books on my shelf, if you know what I mean. All right, let's jump right in because I know you guys are waiting. We only have 16 prompts left. I'm so excited because then we're going to take them out and redo the whole jar. Um, but we'll definitely do that together. Um, let's just dive in. Again, we're going to choose eight and then eight next month and then hopefully we'll be done. I have the right to not do a prompt if I want to. If I want to change it, I'm going to. Um, just because, again, I'm not forcing myself to read anything this year. Also, I have horrible handwriting. Oh, it just says pretty cover. Pretty cover. <laughs> a book that has a pretty cover. Okay. Interesting. I feel like pretty is very like, like, I don't know why I wrote pretty. I would have just been like a cover you like or something like that. Um, but I feel like pretty is specific because it has to be, actually, I think this is super pretty. Mmm. Any, any, I think... The prison healer is prettier. Because some of these I like like. But they're not necessarily like pretty. <laughs> I think actually we're going to go with the prison healer. I actually really like this cover. I think it's so cute. I think it's so pretty honestly. The flowers are just really pretty. So I think we're going to go with prison healer by Lynette Noni. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this series. But I feel like we got to. We got to. Figure it out, you know, for ourselves, you know? Okay. A two-word title. Two-word title. A book. Oh, I already know. I already know. So we have Sword Catcher, technically. Um, we have lots of them. Night Cat, Night Shift, sorry. Um, Arch Enemies, kind of, but not really. Um, and then... Red Rising, but we have to go with All In. All In, two-word title, book three of The Naturals. I am screaming, dying on the floor. I want to read this so bad, so I am so excited. I cannot freaking wait, and um, it's going to be a good one. I just know it's going to be a good one. I have high hopes, and I love the first two so much. I believe this is going to be a five-star, definitely like a five-star prediction, so I'm dying. I'm so excited to read that. <laughs> I was like, honestly, I would have probably read it next month, even if I didn't get that prompt, because, um, because, um, I was so excited about it. I got distracted, because I can't find my phone. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, fantasy romance. That's easy. I mean, we got lots of options. Fantasy romance. I feel like that's a lot. Is the Assassin's Blade fantasy romance? Why do I not know if any of these are fantasy romance? Not me thinking this is going to be easy. I need my phone. Okay, we got options. So, The Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare also, like, says fantasy romance. The other one that specifically says, like, fantasy romance is um, Holly Black, The Wicked King. Um, so, this is the Cruel Prince trilogy. Baiting on it because also 
technically, technically, Ruin and Rising um, by Lee Bardugo does say, it says, so if you look on, like, Goodreads and you scroll all the way down, it'll have, like, little bubbles of, like, um, you know, genres, tropes, that kind of stuff. And so it'll say, so this one by Holly Black, The Wicked King, says fantasy romance in its own bubble. <laughs> this one says fantasy, and then it has romance in another bu bubble. <laughs> so I guess technically it counts. And then Assassin's Blade also did the same thing. So, like, first it was, like, fantasy, like, paranormal, that kind of stuff. And then I think it, then it said romance eventually. I just don't know if technically, I don't know. So I think we're going to go with... I kind of want to finish this trilogy, so I think we're going to go with Ruin and Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. I'm excited to see, like, what the, what the heck is going to happen in this one, because I know what I want to happen. I don't know if it's going to go there, so we have that one. Okay. Gosh, that was too long for one prompt. We got to do a lot more. I can't even do math that quick. <laughs> A book that matches the current season. The problem with this... I'm going to have to not use this prompt. There's one book that I can think of, which is um, A Winter in New York by Josie Silver. I just don't want to read that. I just will, will not read that. So I'm going to choose a new prompt. Okay. All right. This is, ooh, a second chance author. A second chance author. Do I have one of those? I don't even know. A second chance author. Oh no. I feel like we kind of have to go with From Luke Off With Love, um, because Marina Zapata, I, she's, me and her have beef. We have beef, and so I don't love her other books, so I feel like this one will make or break her as an author for me. If I don't like this book, I'm done. I won't be reading her again. If I like this book, then we'll probably try some other one of some of her books, but I've, honestly, I've read two of her books already. I've read three of her books already. Two, three, <laughs> I don't remember. Dear Aaron Colty, is that it? I did not like Colty. Oh no, and I read The Wall of Winnipeg Me. I did not like The Wall of Winnipeg Me, and I did not like Colty. But I did like Dear Aaron, so we gotta give it another go. Definitely not second chance, but I don't have one that's like literally a second chance. I think they're all like, you know, normal, so I don't know. I don't know. All right. Prompt number five. Oh my gosh. Buy a book of your choice. <laughs> this is actually not a bad one. The thing with this is that I literally have, like, I, I keep up with all the books I want to read. But I think we'll have to go with Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to get... No, I'm pretty positive. No, I'm going to get this book. Okay, no matter what. This is... Um, whoa, where is it? Okay. I'll just show you it on t Amazon, but I'm going to buy it from um, Target when I go there next because I know they have it in stock. This is Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. Um, I just finished the first book and I loved it, so I think we'll buy this second book. No, we will buy the second book. That'll be the fifth book on my TBR. I have a couple new books that are coming to me in um, February that I could have counted, but like we will get this. I'll put in a clip here of me um, when I get the book because I will show you I'm getting that book. It will be on my TBR. Fret not, okay? <laughs> All right, prompt number six. I hope you guys don't care that I don't explain what the books are about, but because I haven't read them yet, I don't want to, like, know that much about them, because I like to go into books blind. 
so sorry. <laughs> but, ooh, a hardcover book. Hardcover book. These problems are so dry. But, like, they're the end. They're the bottom of the basket. <laughs> and not for any reason that other than I just chose them last. Like, it's just how it happened. But, like, these are definitely not the most exciting prompts, but I'm glad. I just want to use them, get them out, and then um, we can refresh. And then you guys can give me new ideas. Like, it'll be a fun time. You know what I mean? I don't even remember the prompts. Hardcover book. That one's easy. I think we're going to go with Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Chalice of the Gods. I tried to read this before. I haven't read it yet. We're going to read it again. Um, I was thinking about the Inheritance Games, but I think I want to start the Inheritance games once I finish the natural series and not like they're related or anything but just because I'm trying to alleviate all the series I'm in the middle of uh, although I, I'm not sure if this is a series technically but for now there's only this one book out so um we're gonna go with that one okay we have two more prompts oh so many books I still need to read <laughs> so many still books I want to read all right a book purchased within the last month. A book purchased within the last month. I definitely got that later than a month ago. Okay, sorry, that took a long time because I could not remember for the life of me where I got the Assassin's Blade. But I got it in November, so not within a month ago. But I did get um, The Wicked King in December within the last month. Does that count? No, it would have to be in January. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm no, a month is, so if it was 30 days ago, within the last 30 days, and I got this at the end of December, so because I'm like, you film, because I'm not filming the day, I'm, well, either way, even if I was filming the day I upload, that would have been 30 days ago. <laughs> so it still counts. Yeah, because we're uploading on the 30th, and I got it on the 31st of December, so the 30th would have been a month ago, within the last month. So it works. I'm counting it. This is The Wicked King by Holly Black. We're doing it. I purchased this a month ago, okay? So we're counting it. Wow, that was a lot of work for what? Turn down for what? One more prompt, honey. One more time. I'm so excited. I'm scared and excited. A book with a map in it. A book with a map in it. We gotta go Assassin's Blade, right? I feel like we have to. What if there's no map in it? <laughs> okay, there is a map in it. We gotta go Assassin's Blade. I wanna, I need to start the series and I wanna start it so bad. So there are lots of options though. I'm pretty sure Red Rising has a, um, map in it and honestly I've started this and I'm reading it slowly I'm just like kind of listening to it when I want to listen to an audiobook so not gonna lie I could I, I'm gonna put leave this on top shelf because I probably will read that um and then arch enemies I do want to read at some point but like it's just like really long <laughs> um so anyway let me clear off this shelf and then we'll get the ball rolling <laughs> all right so we'll just go backwards and I'll change the height in a second. First book we have is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. This is a book with a map in it. Then we have The Wicked King by Holly Black. This is a book that was purchased within the last month, a month ago. Same difference. <laughs> then we have Percy Jackson and the Olymp Olympians, The Chalice of the Gods. This is a hardcover book. <laughs> I forgot for a second. <laughs> Then we have From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. This is a second chance author. I'm not going to lie to you. From Luke Off With Love has been on a lot of TBRs. And there's no promises that I will be reading this book. I'm not even going to lie to you. So, um, but it's on my TBR. Then we have Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. This is... I do not know. <laughs> oh, this is just a fantasy romance. It's just a fantasy romance. <laughs> I I want the romance to be with the Darkling so bad, and I just don't think it's gonna happen. I keep holding out. I'm like this when I after I read the first book, I started reading the first book halfway. I'm like, okay, we we got it. Like by the end of this book, it's they're gonna be a thing. 
next book. Then I'm like, okay, it's going to happen in the second book. Halfway, I'm like, okay, at the ending here, it's going to happen. Now I'm like, it's going to happen in the third book. And I have no faith. <laughs> okay. Then we have All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is a book with a two-word title. And then we have The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. This is a book with a pretty cover, and I do think this is so pretty, not gonna lie. I don't feel like I have that many, like, pretty covers, though. Wow, the height was pretty much solid. Wow. Wow, easy peasy. And then last but not least, we have... I gotta find the name. I gotta find the name. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I will find it. It's, it's here on the tip of my tongue. Tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue. Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. I will buy this and I will show you and we're going to be happy about it, okay? I'm actually really excited about it, so yes. Oh my gosh, okay, so real quick, I just wanted to show you that I told you I would show you. What I told you I would show you, the Stolen Air, I picked it up from Target, so it will be on my TBR. Um, that's fine. That's a lot of books, baby. I also picked up this book, which I'll just share with you real quick. This is by um, Lisa Tur Turkerst. I, I always forget how to pronounce her name. But it's called Forgiving What You Can't Forget. And I think this is going to be, like, such a great book. I don't think I'll read it this month because I'm reading um, a different book, like, in the mornings where I would normally read a book like this. Um, so I'm going to put it on my shelf. But I picked it up because I was like, I think I need that in my life. Like, at a spur of the moment, just go get it so that I don't have to think about it. <laughs> um, so, I picked that up. So, here is my TBR for the month of February. <laughs> Honestly, guys, let me know. Oh, let me pop this on here. I will, I'm going to just pop Red Rising on here because I probably will read that. And then I also, again, like I said, I have, I have, like, two books that are going to come to me in February that I will probably try to read as well. Um, my average, like, well, okay, it's only January, so... Honestly, January, I think I read, like, 10 books. I think less than 12 books, which is not bad at all. It obviously depends on who you are. Like, do not think that you need to get to a certain number. Um, but for me, the, like, I was reading, like, 15, 16 books a month, and I did not love that. I mean, I liked it <laughs> at the time, but, like, I felt like, like, I don't want to have to feel like I have to do that because that could be really overwhelming, and so I'm like... We're just going to read what we want to read. Um, I chose eight prompts. We're chilling. These are all books I'm very excited about. That The only book I'm like, eh, is From Luke Off With Love, <laughs> genuinely. And, like, obviously, I don't have to read it. It's just an option if I want to read it. I'm going to try my best to read it, <laughs> but we will see. Um, and then, yes, I have decided that I'm also, I'm decided, I'm, I don't know. I believe, <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll share another video, but I think I'm going to go on a book buying ban for February. I don't know though. We'll see. That is it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye nerds!